Alright, we live yet? Yes! Come on! Oh yeah! Okay, yes, we're right. live. Alright, hey, Dad's Vintage Garage here checking in. Cooper's on the camera today. Uh, he had a first day of middle school. And I, I'm doing a haul video for um, an online auction. And today was pickup. I picked up for my neighbor across the street. And I picked up for my stuff. Um, I think all of this was under 40 bucks. His stuff, my stuff. I think I spent about 32 and he spent like 6 somewhere around there. So, just want to quickly go through it. And I haven't looked at it because I, I didn't do the preview. I just was had a weak moment and decided to bid on some stuff. So, first thing, this is Kevin's stuff right here. He got a pile of electronics. Uh, extension cord. Old heavy black phone. Of course, the more desirable phones are the colored ones. Uh, Plug-in box. Telephone amplifier. Radio shack. Um, that's not new and then he got a Regency uh, scanner and I think there's comps on these I, I looked up earlier today um, online so anyway Kevin should do okay on that so second thing I got was a Sears and Roebuck vintage hair dryer back up Cooper hey let's do your hair I'm gonna grab this chair it's about to be draped so we thought that we were showing earlier, and we really want so. All right, so this is one we of. We filmed my... like half of the video, and then we had to stop. So. So this is one of my chairs I got. I like I liked it. It was about nine dollars, and I'll probably. So that was half of your thing. Yeah, that was half my thing. It's got nice patina on it. Um, steel reinforcement in the bottom. Um, but I like it. So Cooper's gonna sit down in the chair. Let my dad keep the camera wheel. Keep, keep filming, Cooper. Let's see. Okay, I got it so plugged in. Out. And this is the Dad's Vintage Garage Studio Salon. Want to take the camera? Is it on? Not yet. All right, so we got to turn. It's not in my, on my head. I don't head. know. Hold on. It needs to be on. So we've set up the salon <laughs> in the back of the, back of the truck, um, but I consider that tested and work. Cooper's got his bun in there and he's drying it. How's it feeling, Cooper? Um, How's no, it? Right here, I don't really feel, but musty smell. If I go up, yeah, it smells pretty bad, but like it, it feels really good though. Okay. It's like a bunch of different vents. Yeah. All right, cool. So that's our vintage Sears and Roebuck uh, hair dryer. Here we'll do a side face, side view too. Pretty cool styling, and I like the color too. Man, look at how how deep that thing is. All right, cool. Let's go. Let's keep filming. All right, so that's it for the. There's the control panel and some squished up directions, and then a sales tag too. So. Well, um, all right, so I don't want to push any buttons to turn that off. Did you, is that how you turn it off all earlier? Right, so that's item two. We'll get that figured out. That's kind of cool. All right, we'll get that out of the way. All right, so back to the pile. All right, this is uh, some of Kevin's stuff. He actually bit on a shelf lot of toys, and some dude took his shelf. And we got stuck with this stuff, but I think he'll still be okay on it. Plastic uh, chest set. And the figures are kind of, and these, man, these things smell musty. But he'll, he'll do okay on it. Good tool, um, good tool. Handy, Andy tool set. Not, my, not many tools in there. Dropped your phone. But um, got some cool graphics on that. Nothing much. Yeah. So in that in that case, um, there's a couple options. When you bid on something at an online auction, you go show up, and then the, the auctioneer does not have your um, have your item. They can refund the item, or you can. In this case, the guy left a, a shelf of toys that he was supposed to get, and I looked at it and determined that the four dollars that that Kevin had spent on the other shelf, we could probably recover it. And we decided to just go ahead and, and get that lot. 
some sort of vintage bag, handbag with a cool little graphic on it. And then it's got some. Hold up! Is that a spider? What? No, it looks like spider's oh. fabric. Um, and then some old puzzles, and this was kind of cool. Some vintage uh, Monopoly parts, all of them were wooden. So this is an old calendar calling card from 1972. So this is about 50-year-old, 50-year-old oh, yeah. stuff. This is a kind of a sample rock, sample rock stuff, which that's kind of cool, old set. And then here's some more um, vintage Monopoly. So anyway, this is all going to my friend, my neighbor across the street, Kevin. Lay down, bunny. Fiesta. And it needs a little <coughs> here and out. It's musty. Don't be smelling. <laughs> oh! For, for sure. Oh! <coughs> yeah, so that's kind of <coughs> musty. So anyway, so the figure was we, we got the lot that we really didn't want. But that kind of helps with the relationship with the auctioneer. And if we future bid on stuff... Um, they'll remember us. Hey, that's the guy that's pretty flexible. So this is a lot I bought, and I'm kind of like. Some Are we of... filming this whole truck? Yep, yep. Oh boy. Look, some of these vintage old cotton towels. That is really going to be longer than you want. Okay, okay, we're gonna hurry up then. So I seven but minutes. Keep filming, nice. Okay. So you remember your grandma used to have let these towels me see, in the Let me see when my birthday was on that day. It's not. Oh, this it's is 91. You weren't even born. Yeah, I was not not. Time out. What? It's in different languages. Oh. All right, so the advantage of getting these is you might find one nice piece of linen. Most of this stuff is just um, rags. What? Is, what? But... What is an Olympic box? Interesting, interesting. Got an old vintage there, biscuit there. cutter, some salt and pepper shakers, whatever. Some maybe some dish cloths, but again, it's all kind of smells moldy or uh, musty from the house. So most of this will probably go in the trash. All right, let's get off this cooper. Pick it up, pick it up, up. Yep, perfect. All right, this is kind of that lot why I bought those linens. And I think I got that whole lot for like 99 cents as it had some Dairy Queen glasses in it. Dated 1976. I didn't research them. And then the rest of these glasses I probably will just donate to the local missions. Um, and they'll probably throw them in the trash. But I'll let them decide that. Virginia's for lovers' glasses. Um, Alright, so that's that. Next. You know, I'm getting ready to do a home show September 28th. And I've got some, it's kind of Christmassy theme. Where is the home show? It's at the, fair, the Chesterfield Fairgrounds. Chesterfield Fairgrounds. Come visit us. We'll be out there from what to what, Dad? Saturday. All day Saturday, I think. All day Saturday. We'll be out there. So this Come has got a retail tag of 19 bucks. I think I paid $2 for the whole box. It's got a couple of ceramic churches. Um, I'll either sell these, or if I don't sell them, I'll probably take them to the nursing home for my mom for the residents to paint on. And either way, I got my 99 cent worth on this. No, I think this is maybe 3 bucks because I ended up doing this. But I should be okay on that. All right, Kevin, let me get up in the box. Oh! Are you still filming? Yeah, but I tripped. Dad, you just draw film from the back. Yeah, right, just... Film from the back here. All right, so here's a box of uh, toys. And I think, again, I have a buck or two in it. Nothing fancy. Here's some vintage uh, tea set. Plastic. Made in China, so this was probably early Chinese in the uh, 
70s. Why do I say 70s? Well, one, I got the hint of 70s with those uh, cotton uh, dish towels. And pretty much all this stuff is 70s. So the neatest thing, let's see, this is how baseballs used to, or uh, tennis balls used to come. There's These an old ragged out tennis balls. Can we use them? Uh, they're hard as a rock. Can I go hit them real quick? Uh, not right now. After the video? It's coming to can. But I was looking at this Raggedy Ann doll. Are you got a good focus on this, Cooper? Do you want to close? She's maybe? cute. But look about look at her. Somebody had modified her. And like I said, I bought these box lots sight unseen just because they were low ball. And it has a wind up music box in her. Get the um get it close in here. So somebody modified this little raggedy Ann and um put that little music box in. So she's got a little character. We'll find a new home for her. America Plastic Bricks. This is an early addition to um, what everybody's familiar with, Legos. This has a couple um, directions in it, looks like, but no box. So we'll sell that. And what else we got in here? Some old chess pieces and all that. So anyway, that's, that's our toy box. All right, this is some more Kevin stuff. Vintage Monopoly board, some dominoes, backgammon board, and you just never know. Sometimes um, people hide stuff in these game boxes. Um, so sometimes it's worth taking the time just to look. Most of the time, nothing. It's kind of neat. Dad, that doll's still playing. What? I know, the doll's still playing. How long did you wind it I, up I for? I saw this when I was deciding whether to take the shelf at the auction. And there, there's actual listing on this on eBay. And then why I said probably, Kevin, go ahead and pull the trigger, was there was a um, new in the box Millennium Monopoly. Um, new unopened box. So that'll be Kevin's. Oh, All right, my you. shelf that I didn't get, I got a shelf that they ended up misplacing. And this was something I spotted on the wall, so it was 99 cent. And I ended up basically trading them for this. It was an unlisted, unlisted item in the house. I asked them, and I said, how about instead of refunding my money, how about this? And so they gave me this in, in, instead. I think I'll be able to maybe sell this to somebody. We'll see. If not, I only got 99 cent in it. Kind of nicely framed. Got a little bit of damage here on the bottom, but uh, the paper's probably about 40 years old. 50 years old. Another lot, I got some mirrors, and then I got this owl. You having fun, Coop? We're just hanging out in the back of a pickup truck, so. 14 minutes on your video. Very so far. professional. Couple of mirrors here, different shapes, and then we got this framed mirror. Then we have All right, get ready, Cooper. 14 minutes on Get ready to get on Hollywood. Can you see yourself on film, camera? <laughs> okay. All right, so that's that. And luckily, all right, I'm going to pop back over this way, Coop. Get ready. Luckily, I'll switch around for uh, It's not going to rain for another day. And tomorrow's the day. If you guys watch any of my other videos, Tomorrow's my day to get my storage unit for, to, to kind of stage my items. So, 99 cent box, kind of a waste of time on this. I saw some ribbon. Basically, I paid to haul their trash away on this one. Um, oh, here's another one of those linen towels. Oh, yeah, my birthday was on the Wednesday. Cool. 
Um, so this was a, a boxed out of glass that was in the cupboard. And the only reason I pulled the trigger on this is I like this green glass. I thought it looked cool in a bathroom, maybe with toothbrushes in it. And then also there was a patriotic um, kind of vintage. Patri Are you feeling Cooper? You lost your focus? Yeah, my bad. Patriotic mug. And then the rest of this stuff I'll probably just donate to the church charity. And then I kind of, I got, I always fall for these old, like, crock bowls. This was kind of nice because the design just wasn't on the side, followed over on the bottom. So, this would make a cool little planner, um, key holder, wallet, change, whatever, maybe on your dresser. So, there's that. And then they had a cheese shredder that I just picked up that was free. So I don't oh, know yeah, you sat... All right, so real quick, the last thing I got was another toy box. And again, I didn't really look at the video, but Cooper, come up and look, film this side of this. This is Disney, like, shel sticky shelving paper. Man, I wish I could save that. Let's film this, Cooper. I mean, this has just got some cool character to it. Can y'all see that? But... It's in, you know, you can't save everything, so I've saved it on a YouTube video. Um, I'm not sure how much more I'm going to do. These are some caulk letter or some um, cork oh. letters, numbers. And got these for a decent price, and I'll probably just end up trying to flip these as separate letters as decoration. Conversation pieces, however you want to go. Um... On the edges, they like put it, which is cool. And then I haven't gone through this box, but this again is another box of just vintage toys. Um, okay, Kate. Have any of y'all okay, played Pit? Probably lay these cards out, air them out, and look at it oh my gosh it, it looks like it's a 70s thing because it's got a styrofoam box to it instead of cardboard um parker brothers what frenzied trading game dad hit we'll look it up look at that which one this one they drew on kennedy's face oh they yeah you knew who that was so old president's puzzle. All 34 presidents of the United States. Actually, there are 52 at the moment, right? 52? Is that what you know? You're the middle schooler, so I you probably think. Okay. 50. All right, let's not. Let's not. not 51, 52. That over. Okay, let's finish it up real quick. Comment in the comment sections what it is, please, because we'll I totally forgot. I know it's around there. I think it might be 50. I don't know. Look at these. These are kind of just cool game, graphic game cards. Got different games on them both sides. The dice is wooden. It's got some little plastic pieces to it. But it's like 71 games all in one box. Kind of neat. So I'm kind of my I've, I've kind of gotten out of interested in being in clothes. Will this be your longest video? I don't know. Look, peanuts puzzle. 19 minutes. All right, let's hurry up and finish. Old maid cards, which sometimes old maid isn't um, too hot. Changing Charlie. Wait, what is this? You change the faces the way it laid out. Trouble. I remember playing Trouble in the 70s. So who knows? We'll see what we can do on this. Um, what do we got down here at the bottom? Bus pads. Anybody need some? Oh. This is cool. Some vintage uh, army men. And it's actually some um, plastic Civil War guys, too. I... I remember playing with kind of figures like this, um, and I'd lay and throw dirt clogs at them. Bazooka guy. 
Here, are you filming or when you get distracted? You okay? Mm -hmm. Totally. Old Howard, sir. If this video is bad, just comment on comment. Well, we're not going to redo it. They're going to get what they got because um, yeah. you got to get in and do your homework. I don't right, have one more today. Woo woo, because it was Ooh, the first one. This might day. be interesting. The fugitive. What does the fugitive. Who knows? Let's see. I've never heard of that game. There we go. Looks like he travels across all the, the cities. Raleigh, Atlanta, Palm Beach, Philadelphia, Washington, New York, Richmond. Sure there was 50? I don't know. I'll look it up. Who knows? Somebody collect that, I'm sure. All right, what else we got in our box? Uh-oh. I know these, uh, squeegee board. Is that what they're, or, or what are they called? A squeegee, whatever. All right, so I'm happy with this toy box. Um, my next thing is probably to air these things out. They're a little musty, but I'm happy with uh, what, I, what I got in the box. And... Um, you know, when I do my home shows, I try to have, like, multiples of my uh, Fisher-Price toys. So you saw Kevin's old um, black phone, and then I've got my Fisher-Price phone. So that's it from the end, from uh, Dad's Vintage Garage and Cooper filming from the, the back of the pickup truck. Wizard of Oz Jigsaw Puzzle, 1975. And actually, this smells like old cardboard. Yeah, it does. As opposed to musty. But that's next to kind of a cute little puzzle for ages 7 to 14. And then, if you guys watched the flea market video when I had this uh, barrel of monkeys, after about the third, second, third time I spilled them, I just threw them out. So my last barrel of monkeys went in the dumpster. Um, this one, who knows? what will happen but from barrel monkeys to two monkeys in the back of a pickup truck thanks for watching our video and um thanks for watching cooper and i and we get to spend daddy's son time so cooper out dad's out thanks again for watching if you have any comments on any of these toys or need to get us informed let me know but i'm going to research some and i think we'll we'll do okay all right thank you guys bye dad's out